Canadian wildfire smoke is pouring into the country. It's affecting 65 million people in 18 states. From New York City to Detroit, Michigan to Boston, Massachusetts, those fires are causing dangerous air quality conditions across the U.S. NBC's Emily Akeda reports from New Jersey, where the iconic New York City skyline is hard to make out through the smoke. As sweeping wildfires in Canada rage on this morning, hazardous plumes of smoke from those towering flames are seeping into the U.S. from the Northeast to the upper Midwest. It was real hazy flying here. We could even flying out of O'Hare. We could barely see the, the downtown Chicago area. The thick smoke even drifting hundreds of miles south, hiding mountain peaks in the Carolinas. Tens of millions of Americans set to face air quality alerts for a second day in a row, with yellow and brownish hues creating apocalyptic scenes splashed across social media. I've never seen nothing like this in my life. This is not a filter. I feel like I'm on an episode of The Last of Us. At one point Tuesday, New York City had the worst air quality in the entire world, forcing several minor league teams to cancel games because of health concerns. While in the big leagues, the Yankees and White Sox played through the heavy haze. I'm definitely congested here and like my throat is a little like like I'm kind of losing my voice. Experts say smoke particles can lead to headaches, irritated eyes, a scratchy throat, even difficulty breathing, especially for vulnerable populations, which includes seniors, young children, pregnant women and those with respiratory conditions. What would you recommend for people in poor air quality regions? Limit the time you spend outdoors uh, and limit the amount of physical activity, the strenuous physical activity that you're doing. That's the sun right now. And air pollution from these kinds of wildfires is only getting worse. Over the last decade, Stanford researchers found the number of people who experienced at least one day of unhealthy air quality from smoke has increased by 27 times. That smoke travels, that smoke blows to other areas. And so really there's there's no part of the continental United States where you can say that you'll be completely safe 